really, really important part of um, these potential charges is this this phone call right. that sparked this investigation. Yeah, and, and I want to be a little hesitant to say it sparked it because we only know what we know publicly, okay. but I think it's a very safe, very accurate thing to say at the very least. This is the most high-profile piece of potential evidence that is available publicly. Um, the federal indictment, Jack Smith's election probe indictment, featured this call between Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and then President Donald Trump prominently. We've got some excerpts from that phone call teed up for you. If we can, let's start with the perhaps most famous or infamous portion of the recording where former President Trump is heard discussing finding votes in Georgia. Let's take a listen if we have this. Look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find it's okay, uh, I'm just going, no prompter. 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. Now, that was a key component of the federal indictment that Jack Smith unsealed earlier this month. It's certainly the most well-known. I think it's, it's fair to say that was the one that captured far and away the yeah. most headlines. But the federal indictment spent a good chunk of time talking about other components of this phone call that... I think it's probably fair to say most people haven't heard. We have these excerpted for you here. Jack Smith, the special counsel, cited, for instance, uh, an exchange between then President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, where the former president claimed that thousands of people who were dead right. voted in the 2020 presidential election. It yeah. was part of his part of his allegations that uh, unlawful activity occurred here and that the election results should be overturned. But if we can, um, can we can we listen in on this chunk of the call here? The other thing, uh, dead people. So dead people voted. And I think uh, the, the number is in the pro uh, close to 5,000 people. And they went to uh, obituaries. They went to uh, all sorts of methods to come up with an accurate number, and a minimum is close to about 5,000 voters. Now, you just heard, you're right, you just heard the words of former president, who was then the president, Donald Trump. Later on in that conversation, moments later, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, who was the Secretary of State then, and importantly, is still the Secretary of State, responded to former President Trump's comments. Take a listen. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. Uh, we, we talked to the congressmen and they were surprised, but they, uh, I guess there was a person they that came to these meetings and presented data. And he said that there was dead people, of, I believe it was upward of 5,000. The actual number were two, two, two people that were dead that voted. You're listening in, if you're just joining us right now, to excerpts of that famous and infamous phone call between then-President Donald Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. It's a key pillar of Jack Smith's most recent election indictment, unsealed charging the former president earlier this month with uh, charges related to the 2020 election. Yeah. We don't know if and how much, if so, that call may feature into any local indictments filed here in Fulton County. But understanding that call, I think at the very least, helps ground us in the universe of possible evidence.